Hey, can we go ahead and put on a Christmas themed holiday background for this video? Yeah, no? Yeah. yeah. Yes. All right, perfect. Ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Or in my case, sometimes, bah humbug. <laughs> now, the holidays can be a pretty stressful time uh, out of the whole year. And that ring jing jingling that you're hearing is probably not sleigh bells, it's probably your wallet as it loses more money day to day trying to find the best gift for your loved one. But here we are. And in this video, I just wanted to kind of make a guide real quick for the holiday season 2022 on what to get. Um, in this instance, in this video, we're gonna be talking about Canon and you know their whole lineup of cameras as you can see here. So you gotta please excuse, get it? Cause there's a lot of skews here. Uh, the boxes that we have here from Canon, there is a lot of options to choose from. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the boxes, what's included in each kit and which one would work best for the loved one that you're buying or if you're buying it for yourself, hey, no harm, no foul. If you love yourself, you know, you can go, we'll go ahead and discuss each system and which one would be best. Okay, so to kick things off, we're gonna start on the 500 to $1,000 range on this side. And I don't really give you guys a price because again, the prices are gonna fluctuate and va uh, vary for the holiday season. If you guys wanna check out the listing, you can go to our website or you can come to the store and we can give you a proper pricing uh, point from there. We're gonna start with the five, again, the 5,000 to $1,000 range. And then we're gonna go to the 1,000 to $2,000 range with the R7 and the R10. Also with these camera systems, I'm just gonna let you guys know right now, these are all crop sensors, APS-C, which is a smaller sensor. There's also the full frame, which we'll probably go over on another day. But again, um, if you are getting this for a loved one that's just trying to get into photography or you wanna get them into photography, these are all really great options for the holiday season. So first up, we have the one and only mirrored system here out of the bunch, which is the Canon Rebel T7. Now this is going to be a pretty great option for starting because again you're going to get a camera system that has 24.1 megapixels. It comes with two lenses and a bag. Now for this price point, it's a pretty bare bones camera system. Um, again, you can do videos with it. Uh, it's going to be 1080p, not 4K, just to give you a heads up. It doesn't come with a microphone jack, so if you're wanting to do high quality audio, you're really not going to get that. Um, again, this is kind of a bare bones essential system if you're wanting to get somebody into photography without breaking the bank. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move right along to the mirrorless systems. And just to give you guys a quick little explanation of what the mirrorless system is, a mirrorless system basically has no flipping mirror within the sensor. So uh, what that means is, is there's less moving parts. And when you're actually looking through the viewfinder of these camera systems right here, you're actually previewing what you're gonna capture. Now this would have been great for me back in the day. I actually started with a Rebel T1i uh, many moons ago, and I still have it to this day. But uh, basically, when you're previewing it, it's like looking at your phone, what you see is what you get. Again, this is gonna be really beneficial and substantial for you if you're wanting to learn the camera systems that much more. You'll have a better understanding of what the aperture does, what shutter speed does, and what the ISO does to the image. So definitely keep that in mind. If you wanna be more traditional, you can go ahead and get them a mirrored system. But if you wanna expedite and speed up the learning process, mirrorless systems is a great, great system. With that being said, let's go ahead and kick it off and talk about the M50 line of cameras from Canon. Now the EOS M50 Mark II Creator Kit comes with the lens comes with the shotgun microphone and a tripod with the BRE1 wireless Bluetooth controller. It also comes with the EOS webcam utility and a cable. So if you wanna do some live streaming stuff, you're more than able to do that. You just hook it up, set it up on your computer and you're good to go. The lens mount that the EOS M50 utilizes is the EFM, but you can go ahead and expand that even further by getting the EFM to EF adapter to use some of the older lenses that's either EFS cropped or EF full frame. If you want to throw on a nice L series glass on there just to kind of bump up the quality that much more, you can. Now, in terms of recording qualities, you can actually record up to 4K 24 frames per second max, which is, of course, cinema quality. And the last cool feature about the camera system is if you record vertically with it, it'll save it in that vertical aspect ratio, 9 by 16. So again, if you're wanting to get this for a social media content creator, somebody that loves to make TikTok videos or Instagram reels, this is gonna be a killer system to get for that loved one. So talking about the bigger brother of the M50, we're gonna have the EOS R10. Now the R10 is gonna be very beneficial in the autofocusing realm. Um, if you're wanting that fast autofocusing from the Canon EOS R3, which is one of Canon's flagship high-end cameras, it's all built into this camera system right here. Okay, let's go ahead and discuss the record qualities of the Canon EOS R10. The Canon EOS R10 can shoot 4K 60 frames max, but it's gonna be cropped. If you're gonna wanna do uh, uncropped, you're gonna wanna shoot 4K 24 or 30 frames. 
Now, one of the biggest and coolest things about both the Canon EOS R10 and R7 is that it's going to be no record limits. Before, in older camera systems, it would be about a 30 minute time limit. That's all gone with these camera systems. So if you want to record a documentary, uh, you have a loved one that's going to be into interviews, journalism style uh, recordings, you can get any of these systems right here and it'll fit the bill no problem. In terms of what comes in the bundle, it's going to come with the same thing as the M50 Mark II. It's going to come with the shotgun microphone, the little desktop tripod, and the Bluetooth controller. And lastly, we can't forget about the big boy itself, the Canon EOS R7. Now the Canon EOS R7 is very similar to the EOS R10, but it has a bigger megapixel size, has built-in stabilization, and it does 4K60 uncropped. Now the Canon EOS R7 touts a 32.5 megapixel sensor. What that means is if you're gonna be punching in and you wanna crop in a little bit more on your photos, it's still gonna be nice and sharp in terms of detail. And that's gonna be very beneficial if you're gonna be bringing that image to a post-production program like Lightroom, or Photoshop or Capture One. Now, as I had mentioned earlier ago, the Canon EOS R7 shoots 4K 60 uncropped, unlike the Canon EOS R10. Now, this is gonna go hand in hand with the built-in five axis in-body stabilization that's built into the camera system. Now, the built-in in-body stabilization or IBIS is gonna be beneficial for your photos and stabilizing your shot if you're swaying or moving. And if you're shooting video with it, of course, it's gonna keep your videos nice and smooth. Now, what comes with the Canon EOS R7 content creator kit is of course gonna be the camera, the kit lens, an extra battery, and the DME1D shotgun microphone. And that is pretty much a wrap for the Canon Holiday Gift Buying Guide. Hopefully you guys found this video informative and helpful. If you guys did, of course, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe. Now, if you guys have any questions on any of the kits, please feel free to leave them in the comments section down below, and we'll get to them when we can. Of course, I am none other than Raf from BNC Camera. Happy Holidays, or Bah Humbug, and I'll see you guys in another video. See ya.